understand that any driver manager that you get will uh will, will look at that and will give you routes according to getting you home every week. Welcome to MTC 21, where we make the calls for you. I am Lockout Men, and today we're going to be taking a look at Abilene Express. Yes, sir. Abilene Express, which is located out of Virginia, if I'm not mistaken. Abilene Motor Express has three locations. Their main headquarters is in Richmond, Virginia, but they also have a terminal in West, West Memphis, Arkansas, if I'm not mistaken, and the other one is in Whitville, VA. The young lady that I talked to today, she hails from West Memphis, Arkansas. But all of them, all of the terminals, they are hiring. They're hiring for over the road drivers and they're hiring for regional drivers. Now, let me make, make this perfectly clear because she kind of went into detail about this point. If you're a regional driver, do not expect miles because you're going to want to go home every week. Or let me rephrase that. If you're a regional driver and you want to go home every week, don't expect plenty of miles. All right. The miles that they're going to give you is going to be anywhere between 25 to 3000 miles. It depends on you the driver let's let's talk about their cent per mile the amount of money that you can possibly make man this shake rattling and rolling over here at this uh at this shipper right so let's uh jump on over to the big board and look at their pay their starting pay for uh for drivers with two or more years are 40 cent a mile now it may be a little bit more it may be, you know, depending on how many years that you got. Now, me, a six-year driver now, this is, you know, six years that I've been in this field. Is 40 cent good for me? How about new? Yeah. I will break that down for you guys in a minute. All right, so, you know, Abilene Express is offering two different pay, uh, pay scales if you're a driver over two years or a driver under two years. Now, the over the driver that's over two years get 40 cent a mile. So let's let's break that down a little bit. 25,000 miles or 20,000. 2,500 miles would get you $1,000 a week, $4,000 a month, 4,800, I mean $48,000 a year. That's at 40 cent a mile. All right. Now, if you do 3000 miles, it, it'll be a little bit more. So that will be twelve hundred dollars a week, forty eight hundred dollars a month and fifty six six hundred a year. So you're going to top out at fifty seven, about fifty seven hundred or uh, fifty or uh, fifty seven thousand. I'm sorry. At three thousand miles, you're going to get twelve hundred dollars per week for K forty eight K per month and 56k per year now 56 57k per year is good for you guys how about new you know think about it you know you 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 chasing miles all right and with this company at 40 cent a mile, you're only going to top out at about 57, 57 K, 56 to 57 K a year. But don't forget the taxes, though. This is all gross. You know, after taxes, it'll be a little bit less than that. 39 cent a mile if you're less than a two year driver. OK, so let's break that down for you. 39 cent a mile to give you. Uh, with 25 with 2500 miles would give you nine hundred and seventy five dollars per week, thirty nine K per month and forty six K per year. Now, at three thousand miles, you will get eleven hundred and seventy dollars a week and about fifty six K per year. 
So if you a beginning driver, sometimes the money really shouldn't matter to you anyway, because in the first year or so, you're not going to be making no money. The first year should just be concentrating on getting your experience, because I guarantee you once you once you get your experience, you know, a couple of years, three, four years behind your back then you can go and get get with a company that's paying a little bit more. But again, you're chasing miles to get a good pay. Think about that. But it's 39 cent a mile if you're if you're a driver with less than 2 years or a new driver that's coming in to the fray. Uh 50 cent per mile paid to the truck at if you're a team driver, now you got to understand if you're a team driver, that 50 cent is paid to the truck. That's 25 cent each. Think about that. Think about that. Students and trainees are salaried. So if you come in as a trainee or a student, you will be you will be assigned, you know, a, a salary for you uh, driving for them. Solo OTR drivers can average 25 to 3,000 miles per week. Uh, team OTR drivers, 6,000 miles per week. An additional 10 cent per mile for all miles driven in the Northeast. So if you up in the Northeast a lot, Maine, New York, PA, all that good stuff up there, you will get an extra 10 cent on top of the 40 cent that you might be making. And pay reviews annually. Uh, their benefit package is, is basic. Their benefit package is basic. Medical, dental, 401k, health, all that good stuff. Um, they got a driver referral program, $300 for an experienced driver. Uh, another $300 for students once they grab, graduate the Abilene training program. Uh, advantages of uh, driving for Abilene, 99% of no, I mean, freight is no touch to the driver. Detention, layover, and breakdown pay. Passenger, you can have your spouse or children. Driver, manager, communications via fall, omni-tracks, and face-to-face -face meetings if you want. Maximum age of most tractors are 36 months. You got to make sure that you ask them what tractor that you will get. Sometimes it's not just about uh, what's in the tra uh, tractor. It's about how old is the tractor. And as long as that tractor is up to the point of not breaking down when you get into the truck. Home time begins when driver actually arrives at their home. So if you get home on Friday at five o'clock in the evening, then your home time period starts at that time yes you can take the truck home um yes you can take the truck home but you can also you you will have to have a safe place to park it you can also bobtail from the trailer if you park the trailer at one place and then you can bobtail the truck home at another place open door policy so with all that good stuff, their, their website seems to be pretty good. You know, they got they got a lot of tutorials on there. As a matter of fact, there is a couple of there is a couple of YouTube videos on Abilene Express. So when you do your homework or anything like that, and somebody's you know a YouTuber is talking about Abilene Express, see what their feelings are on Abilene Express. And if you're a driver or a previous driver that used to drive for Abilene Express, and you would like to come on to the uh, show and let us know how it how the culture is over there, come on through. Let me know. Hit me up in the Gmail. All right, or hit me up in the comments and let me know, and I'll reach out to you and I'll get you straight on. All right, let's go to the bid board once again, and we got to go to Indeed. We got to see what the drivers say about this company. Uh, so far, Abilene Express is a 3.5 star or a, yeah, 3.5 star company. Uh, they got two reviews by two drivers. Uh, this one says 3.0, all right place. All right place to work at is plenty, is pretty much like any other trucking job. The planners, uh, this one right here is a 5.0. Then he says, 
it was it was okay for me. I'm not a man of many words, but it was good so far. Uh, also with the home time. So again, let's also go back to the bit board and see what they got as far as Facebook. This is their Facebook page right here. This is their Facebook page right here. Uh, you could pretty much look up any company, nine times out of 10, any company that you're interested in may or may not have a Facebook page. Abilene of Virginia VA has one. So go ahead and uh, look them up and, um, and give them a call. You can call, you can call Abilene Express at 804-441-9413. Again, they got three, uh, they main terminal with two additional terminals with each having their own uh, recruiters there. So the recruiter I talked to was from the West Memphis office, but she pretty much uh, gave information for just about all, you know, all three of them, but they might vary in, in what they do. All right. All right. On that note, Let's jump right into the call. Um, I mean, it's a lot to say. You know, what what is it exactly that you that you want to know? Uh, our corporate headquarters is in Richmond, Virginia. We are currently hiring for um, over the road and regional drivers. Um, our over the road consists of all four, uh, forty eight out of fifty states. Regional consists of anything east of the Mississippi River. Um, we have drivers from all over the world, everywhere. Uh, we haul drive reefer, we haul drive van and reefer. Um, we run in, our drivers are averaging about 2,600 to 3,000 miles a, month, a week. Um, so, our, um, so is always available. We have good mileage. Um, uh, I was, I was, I was more curious to like, you know, how long the company has been in existence, uh, you know the company started back in the eight the company started back in about 85 86 they started out with just one truck and then they branched off into um who started purchasing vehicle after vehicle they were um it was two brothers that started the company and then they um turned the company over to their um nephew which he, he has an office in the uh, richmond virginia facility they um, purchased by night transportation, but we do not uh, we do not run for night or we haul anything for night. Um, we are still a separate entity, although we are owned by night. Okay, uh, we pretty much just fall under the benefit package. Oh, okay. So, so you guys are so you guys owned by night uh, the same night transportation that owns Swift. Yes. Oh, okay, but y'all, but y'all, y'all not. So we won't be, you know, uh, hauling any freight in night trailers, will we? Correct. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we come pretty much like, like, I, like I said a few minutes ago. We're pretty much just um, it's it's pretty much just more of a product under their benefits package, um, different things of that nature. Um, but we don't do, we don't use their trucks. We don't use any of their freight, any of that. We still under Abilene. Okay. 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 So, you know, like once I get approved and everything, after I fill out the application and everything like that, and I get approved and I come up to orientation, how would you guys get me up to orientation and what might I have to bring as far as paperwork goes? Okay. Where are you located? I'm out of Ohio. Okay, you have, uh, go to orientation. Your orientation more than likely be in Richmond, Virginia, maybe. Um, and that we 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 pay for transportation. Either we will uh, more than likely fly you, depending on the distance. Um, or it's up. You know, we don't recommend that our drivers, um, our new applicants, new hires do you know drive a long distance. Um, I mean, we just don't want you to have to do that. Um, but I mean, anytime any person drives to a facility. Uh, for orientation, um, if they're dropped off or what have you, we cover your we cover your transportation, we cover your lodging, and we take care of your lunch when you get here. Because the hotels that we put you in to stay, they normally have breakfast. Since COVID is an issue now, they don't they may not have a variety of breakfast, but they will still offer something for their um, guests 
um, every morning. So we do take care of lunch and orientation. Um, and orientation is two days long. Now, if we get the application and look over everything, a lot of things I'm saying are just basic. I can't tell you that you will fall under these uh, under this umbrella because I don't have an application. Uh, but if you have, if you don't have to go under training, once you get out of orientation, which is two days, which you're going to learn a lot more about the company, and you're going to lot, learn, be reminded of some things that you are familiar with while you're on the road. Um, once you get out of orientation, you're going to get into your own assigned vehicle. Our trucks are running 20, we run in 2019, trucks are newer. You're going to get assigned into your own vehicle, and then you'll be on your route. Okay. If you have to go through training for whatever reason, then you'll do four to six weeks of training with the trainer that is paid. Okay. Uh, no, I'm I'm a six year driver, so yeah, I I, I don't think I would have I, I would need any training. <laughs> uh, just put me in the truck and I'm pretty much good to go. Um, all right. So with 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 that said, you says. Uh, the, the trucks are like 2019 or newer. So you wouldn't know what what actual truck that I would be getting into. I have no idea. Okay. Because all I do is hire and assist with orientation, but anything after that, I, I don't I don't deal with anything after that. All right. So could you tell me if you if you could uh about your dispatchers there? Uh, are, are they drivers themselves or are they just, you know, uh, company guys that comes into the oh, company? So now I, I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with the dispatchers in Richmond, Virginia, because that's a corporate office. They have way more dispatchers and planners and driver managers than what we have here in West Michigan. So I can't tell you a lot about those driver managers. I cannot. I can only tell you about what we have here in the West Memphis facility. Okay. West Memphis, Arkansas, we have driver managers that are CDL um, holders. They are former over-the-road drivers. So okay. they know the road, they know the ins and outs. If they have never driven it before, they worked in the industry a long time to know everything they need to know. Okay, 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 cool. Uh, I'm on the website, and I, I was I was looking at I, I was looking at this uh this this little saying here uh as far as uh as far as you guys pay now i'm trying to understand this so it says 40 cent per mile uh for solo drivers with two or more years but it's 39 cent of uh, well no it said more years Okay, so it's thirty nine. Okay, my my fault. I read that wrong. Okay, all right, all right. Because I I thought when I looked at it, I thought it was thirty nine cent a mile for people that have more than two years. But it's thirty nine cent a mile for people with less than two years, right? Um, all of our drivers, but like I said, it's hard to say what a person can start with because if I don't have an application, well, we can do verifiable income. Okay. But so. our starting place, like for someone that's coming in as a student that has never been on the road, they may just have six months, maybe a year of experience or something. I don't know. I can't say that, but I'm just saying without an application, just off the top of my head, they will start in at 40 cents. But, you know, with verifiable income, there could be an instance where drivers could start out with more. Okay. So let's just, you know, let's just ballpark it. So again, a driver with six, six years, such as myself, what would I be coming in at? I mean, it's hard to say because first of all, that's not my that that doesn't happen with me. I get the applications. I let I let who needs to look at them determine what that would be. Uh, so I can't I can't say that. Um, you know, it could be anywhere from forty two, forty three, forty one. I I can't say that. So I'm, I don't I don't know. But like I said, without an application to verify income, to verify employment, then um, because everybody, you know, people say all the time, I've been on the road for six years, and it could be, you know, and not not just you. I'm just speaking of examples. What what we've seen, um, you know, we have some that say I've been on the road for seven years, eight years, nine years, nonstop. But it may be you've driven for two years, and then you stop for four years, and then you're back at it again, and you now you know it's kind of a hit or miss thing. So without um, without verifying employ, uh, employment, 
um, it's hard for me to be able to say what the pay would be um, um, just just by having a phone conversation. But okay. I do know that all of our drivers come in with at least forty cents per mile. All right, cool, awesome. So you guys, uh, so you guys are W two, but what about what about leasing? Do you guys offer leasing for drivers that's interested in going lease? Do we offer what now? Leasing, like lease purchase or anything like that. Oh yes, 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 yes. We do offer lease purchase. You have to be on the road with us for at least six months before we can put you into the lease pur- purchase program. Okay. What would be now? What would be the amount that I would get uh, if I was if I was to go lease uh, after six months? What would be uh, the amount I would get then? Would it be like percentage, or would that be CPM as well? Um, uh, I don't know. I, I know. I don't know. I, they come from headquarters only. The headquarters takes care of that because it's so because it's not so much mileage, but the actual truck itself is involved in that. So that is, I, I don't do anything with that. I just get the people on the road. Okay, okay. Uh, any any other pay to the driver, such as uh, breakdown pay, holiday pay, detention, layover? Yes, we take care of. Yes, we take care of detention. We take care of layover. We have um, we have two bonus programs. If you drive in ten thousand miles or more a month, we take you three cents per mile for every mile that you've driven in that month. If you have no safety um, violations, no DOT recordables, anything of that nature, if you are in safety compliance for the month, we pay you an additional one cent per mile for everything that you've driven in that month. So if your pay is at forty cents per mile, um, you have an, uh, you have the option to make an extra four cents per mile. On top of that, every month, if you adhere to the mileage and the safety compliance, we also pay if any drivers have to do a drop at all in New York City. Uh, if you have to go to New York City for whatever reason, which it doesn't happen very often, but this is a transportation truck and business, it may happen. And if it does happen, if you choose to take that route, then we'll give you we'll give you an additional fifty dollars for dropping that for dropping in New York City. If once you get to the Maryland Virginia borderline, we pay an additional ten cents per mile for that. Okay, okay, that's uh, that's inter- that's interesting, but I'm not I'm not a fan of uh, New York City. So we are are we forced dispatch to go up there? No, I mean, like I said, if you don't, if you if you don't, you don't have to go. You know, okay. and they and they understand that the driver managers totally understand that. Okay. But let's just say if you just did, you know, if, if you just wanted to, you know, you'll get compensated an extra $50 for going just for just for that. Because if you're going, it's not going to be a lot that you're going to be doing, believe me. All right. So, you know, it just, you know, I don't really know what it will be, but it's, it, it's not going to be, you know, a lot. All right. Now I'm out now being that I'm out of Ohio and you pretty much said that I probably might go down to the Virginia and I nine times out of ten I would probably be dispatched out of the Virginia office. So could you tell me if I'm if if I'm able to uh get on to the uh to the regional or would I be considered over the road? I mean if you want regional route, you can get a regional route. Oh, I can't you get, can get it. regional all over the road because we're hiring for both of them at the moment. Oh, okay, okay. And as far as regional, I am able to get home every every week, and I will be able to take the truck home with me, right? Um, it depends on two things. If you have somewhere to park the truck, and you, know, you can't do that, and if you you can box tell it within so many miles, uh, yes, you can take it home. Um, but just keep in mind, if you want to go regional route because you want to be home every week, understand that any driver manager that you get will uh, will, will look at that and will give you route according to getting you home every week. Okay. So there may be instances where you may see that you're not getting a lot of mileage per week because... They, because you're requesting, you took a route because you want to be home every week. So okay. they're going to adhere to what you want. Okay. So it's hard to give you, you know, 26, 2700 miles when you try to be home every week because sometimes those miles are going to take you out for days. I, I will 
I would be like, I, I would be like home. Uh, if I if I do go home, it, it's the actual uh, full two days, right? It's it won't be like a thirty four reset, would it? I mean, I I don't I don't really I don't really know. I mean, a lot of these questions would have to go through your driver manager. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, I, I mean, they may do a thirty-four hour reset because some people request that they reset at home. You know, and some request to be at home for two, four days. Um, so it's just what it is you and your driver manager work with, and what he can give you. Because I understand that you may have demands, but he may, you know, um, say, "Well, I will do everything I can to meet those demands." But, but here's what I have at the moment. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. That's. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not here. I'm not here to feed false hope. I mean, I don't, I don't see. You know, we don't have anything that can get a person home every week. We don't have anything local. You know, we don't have anything local. We don't have anything that can. I mean, we can get you home every week. We can do that. That's not a factor. But just I have to tell people: keep in mind that you wanting to be at home every week for whatever one day or two days. Understand that. You know, you may just have 1,500 miles a week. You may have 1,000. You may have 2,000. You know, so it just depends on the route and what your driver manager can give you because you're requesting to be home every week. Okay, okay, And then, cool. again, it's between the planner and the driver manager. That is not up to recruiting. Okay, cool, cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. I appreciate your honesty in all of that. Thank you very much. Um, uh, as far as equipment, because you did mention the uh, 2019s and up, but what as far as uh, what is the amenities inside the uh, uh, equipment that I'll be driving? Would I have a refrigerator, inverter? What, yes. what would I have? Yes, you have a refrigerator. You're gonna have a place to sleep and rest. You will have inverters. You have um, TVs, uh, microwave, radio, all right, driver seat, ample storage for your personal belongings. Uh, we run off Omnitrack, uh, Qualcomm, of course. Um, you're going to have the bunk heaters. Dri and, driver um, cams. Um, I'm not sure about that one. Okay, okay. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, you want a camera? Yeah, driver camera. Yeah, yeah, there is a, there, is, there are cameras. I'm sorry, I, 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 I felt like you said something else. Yes, there are, they, they are cameras in every vehicle, yes. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Uh, I got. I just got a few more questions for you. Um, and as I said before, I am in a Facebook group, so the information that you're giving me, I will definitely pass on to the guys uh, in the Facebook group. Uh, do you guys? Uh, do you guys? Are you guys like a second chance uh, type company? Like, do you guys? Uh, are felon friendly, or do you guys have a driver? I mean, a felon, uh, a felony. A person with a felony, do they, would they have a chance to drive with you guys? I mean, it's a case by case basis. Um, again, we have a, we have an apartment that will look at that, and they will be the ones to make the decision on that. I've seen it happen with some, and some that can help. So it's all a case by case basis. I can't tell you what they will let through and what they will not let through. That's not my choice. That's not my decision. I know that one. A person does have an unfriendly background, then we process it and we send it to where it needs to go, and we we move along. Um, they will reach out and they'll let us know what it is that we need to do as far as yes and as far as no. But that we 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 do we have instances where we will help those that have an unfriendly background. Okay, okay. What about your company turnover? Do you know that much? What's the turnover um, I mean, rate? It's, it's, it's as bad as, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. You know, we get, <laughs> we get, what I'm seeing more that's coming is we're getting more of, um, from other companies because we have steady freight. We okay. have steady loads. So we're getting more from other companies that do not, that are committing, that they have, um, sign on bonuses that they're not committing to that may tell them we can give you 50 cents. But uh, because we can give you 50 cents, you may not give us a thousand hours a week. We can give you 40 cents, 44 cents, 43 cents, but we're going to give you 3,000 hours a week. So we're getting, we're getting people that, that are, that's understanding that. 
a part of it. Okay. And then plus we have the same benefits package that everybody else have mental, uh, 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 medical, dental, vision, vacation, all of that. Okay. Now, what about a sign-on bonus? Do you guys have that? We do not have a sign-on bonus. We do not. Okay. All right. Well, that's what's up. That's that's all I got right now. Thank you very much. I, I will definitely uh, take this back with me and uh, pass the information along as well as I would assess the information that, uh, that I got with you and compare it to everybody else who I talk to. But, uh, but thank you very, very much for your time. All right, thank you so much. Have a good day. Hey, you too now. Abilene Express, everybody. So what do you guys think of that call right there? I, 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 I took my little notes while I was listening to her, and uh, what I got out of that is a lot of ums. That's just like me with a lot of, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's a word that I'm going to have to pretty much break this year. You know what I'm saying? But uh, a lot of ums in this conversation with this young lady. Uh, I believe she probably might have been reading from uh, reading from her texts and also try to take take things from off the top of her head as well it's not a it's not a forced dispatch if you don't want to go up in the northeast you don't have to but you do get paid extra when you go up there they don't have a sign on bonus they also have bonuses that you can if you have a you know good you know the good trucking stuff that you normally do if you don't have no if you don't have no issues with dot or anything like that you'll be able to get an extra bonus that's paid out probably quarterly you will be able to get in the lease she won't be she didn't go into too much about leasing because she she really didn't have that much information about it but they do have a lease purchase or a lease program there but you have to be on the, uh on the job with them for about six months and the key word that i got out of all of this abilene express is on by night transportation but they're operated out of their own entity so they won't you won't be able to pull no night trailers or night freight or anything like that same thing with swift you won't be able to pull no swift trailers no no swift freight it's all operated up under their own entity but it is funny to know that all these trucking companies now you know, they, you know, they got like different names, but they're all owned up under one umbrella. Think about that when you when you uh, do your research, because you can come, you can work for Abilene and say, yo, I don't give a hoop about Abilene. Abilene sucks, yada, yada, yada. And then, yo, I want to work over at night, but then come to find out that you was working for night all that time. It's a two day orientation, like she said, when she come in. Uh, you do all your paperwork. You uh, one, two, three. It's a two-day orientation. After you get approved, uh, you put in the uh, you put in your application like you normally do. It is go through the steps. Once you get approved, you come in. They'll get you down to VA. They'll put you up in a hotel. Uh, instead, they they don't want you to drive down there. But me personally. I'm going to drive down there. I, I, you know, COVID season still in effect. I don't want to be around people, you know, uh, especially on a bus or, you know, flying or something like that. So I'm going to get a rental car and I'm going to drive down there. See if they can reimburse you for that. Again, like I said, she says no sign on bonus. And, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. So Abilene Express, everybody, this has been a subscriber request. As always, if you guys want to get your request in for whatever company that you want me to call, definitely leave that in the comments below. But if you want me to get the call for the next following Monday or the next following Thursday, yo, hook a brother up with some coffee, man. You know, hook me up with some coffee and I can get that out to you and put it in the premiere for the next following uh, next following episode. All right. Shout out to my man, Dallas Mechanic, for the for the cup of coffee for uh, suggesting Abilene Express. Thank you very much, sir. I really do appreciate that. And then if any one of y'all want to hook me up with some coffee, let me know. 
who you want me to call in the cash app. So when you cash app the coffee, let me know who you are and what company you want me to want me to call. And I will premiere that for you for the next following uh, week this year. We're going to make it happen, y'all. So if any one of y'all interested in any company that you want to uh, get out there and you want to hook a brother up for doing it for you, let's make it happen. Searching, searching, searching. Searching, searching, I'm searching, searching, searching. All right, so um, with 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 all that said, um, let's say I let's say I sign up. I say, hey, yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and make this happen. Uh, I get approved to come on during orientation. Uh, how would I? How would you guys get me up there? Or being that it's ten ninety nine, I guess I have to find my own way out there. Uh, no, sir. We'll, we'll we provide transportation to Knoxville for for orientation. Um, so I can get you a Greyhound bus, or because I know this COVID's 